Hi there! Do you like League of Legends? Do you like money? Well, you've come to the right place. Hi guys, Dark Gains here to introduce my new money-making product, AD Jinx, the money maker. Now I know what you're thinking, hey Mr. Darkman, isn't Jinx usually an AD character? Well if you watched the video for more than 20 seconds, you impatient piece of shit, you'd know that I'm not talking about any old regular AD Jinx build. No, today I'm gonna teach you how to play Lethality Jinx, the build with the most money! Now fellas, let me pose you guys a question. What's the best way to make money? Effort, work, blood, sweat and tears, getting in there, working hard, and taking risks. This is not the right answer. What do you think, I'm stupid? Think I'm just gonna play one of these guys and risk my own life to get a kill that makes me money? I'd be right in the middle of the danger. I could die to anything. That's horrible. And you see what I'm saying, guys? When you play one of these dudes, yeah, you can get kills. Yeah, you can get money. But the risk of dying far outweighs any of that. So in the end, it's just not worth it. But what if there was a champion that didn't have to be close to the action to do damage? A champion that can sit at a safe distance and still get kills, which give you money. That, kids, is the magic of Ezreal. Lethality Jinx. Here's how it's done. So basically, when you get in the game, your main goal is obviously to get the money! But before you can actually do that, there are some preemptive steps you're gonna have to take. First things first, you're gonna wanna start the game with a sapphire crystal and three health potions. Now I would buy a Doran's blade, but a visionary like me understands that since you usually sell that item later for a lower price, it would be a waste of money! Later on, you upgrade the crystal to a tier of the goddess, because you need the mana to use your W a lot. Uh oh, Darius doesn't like that I bought that item. Hey man, it's just a glitch, alright? Don't even worry about it, Darius, alright? Don't even worry about it. This guy has no vision and he's not gonna make any money in today's economy, you fucking idiot. Use your W to poke down the enemy. Actually hit the skill shots for maximum value. You don't have to do it alone, get your jungler to help you out. You know, he comes in and it's like hiring an accountant because it helps you get more money. Let me tell you something, friends, out here on the streets, all right, if you don't got the money, the dough, if you don't got that, then you got nothing, all right? Without the dough, how are you gonna make the bread? You can't, it's impossible, believe me, I've tried and I've failed. Rest in peace, the Dark Man Bakery, I really gave it my all. After obtaining a substantial sum of money from all those early kills, invest 100% of it into Bitcoin. Once you lose all your money, use what's left to buy your first item, serrated dick. It's funny because I made a phallic reference. You can't afford it? Just go into debt. It's fine. J just do it, you goddamn pussy. It's great. Later on, use a thunderstone to evolve that into one of these two items. Wow, what a cool video gaming reference I did right there. Am I right, fellows? I said evolve like in Pokemon. You know, it's like Pokemon is what I just said. You ever play ever play Pokemon? You, you like that shit, don't you? You like it when I fucking reference pop culture, don't you, little bitch? You fucking like that shit when I talk about Pokemon, don't you? You fucking like that shit! Here are the runes and final build I like to use. As you can see, eventually our goal is to achieve maximum lethality and maximum cooldown reduction, thus giving us maximum money! Eventually, this is gonna put your W on a 2.2 second cooldown, and it's gonna do something that we financial experts like to call big damage, so you're always gonna kill your guy without fail. Oh, son of a bitch. Along with that, you also have your special Jinx ult, Super Mega Death Rocket, or as I like to call it, Super MONEY DEATH ROCKET! As you can see from the description, it's a pretty good ability. You see, this here is what I'm talking about, you know, low risk, but high reward. You know, see here, we have a situation brewing, my team's trying to kill this guy, risking their lives, and of course the kill's gonna go to me from halfway across the map. I deserve that. However, as far as the ult goes, my absolute favorite way to make money is actually through my secret technique, a little something I thought of as a young entrepreneur, I call it my DARK MAN! home base money slam technique! Do you want to get the money? Here's how! First, find an enemy with low health. Now follow me here. What do people with low health typically tend to do? Exactly. They recall. Now in League of Legends, recalling is a channeled ability that takes a whole 8 seconds to work. So, if you aim at the enemy base, and you perform a few rudimentary calculations in your head, and you time it just right, then... You won't hit them in the base and kill them as soon as they get there. That is 
what will not happen, of course. You know, the money slam technique is cool, but it's not mandatory, you know? There are other ways to make money, alright? Plenty of different methods. Uh, for example, one technique that I like to use is called the back it up technique. It's pretty simple. Uh, step one, just gotta get them low, alright? You know, just get them so low that they're gonna win the limbo competition, you know? Then comes step two where you, you know, you, you back it up. You know, you say, hey guys, oh sorry, I have to go over here and tie my shoe, guys. But actually, I'm just getting ready to strike, and my shoes were never untied. I wear Crocs, motherfucker. You see, it's really just a metaphor for life, you know? We all get so caught up in all the little things, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, take a step back and take a look at the bigger picture. And then everything turns out fine, just like that. That's life lessons from your boy right there. You're welcome for that. Now guys, like I said earlier, the main goal with Lethality Jinx is obviously to make lots of money. However, the one thing you gotta realize is that the money isn't just gonna come to you, alright? You gotta be actively looking around for money-making opportunities at all times, okay? You gotta be looking all around the map extensively, because it's not just gonna come to you, okay? The money is not just gonna show up at your doorstep, except I lied because sometimes the money will actually show up at your doorstep like this, uh, but it's an exception to the rule, okay? It's not what's normally, you gotta look around most of the time. For example, maybe I look around the map, I see a guy with low health, I say to myself, oh look, potential money. Let me invest myself into the situation. That's all it is, it's an investment of time and effort. And since that investment right there got me some money, it would be considered to be a good investment. Meanwhile, a bad investment is more like what Jace is doing here by staying there. Uh, you see, he's investing his safety into the situation for a chance to get a kill, but unfortunately that's a bad investment because I'm here and the money goes to me instead of him. Very unfortunate on his part. Meanwhile, I make good investments by killing the players while they're doing their jungle things. That way I get both them and the gold from the jungle camp. Now that's a good investment. Uh, here we got Lee Sin investing in some sort of dragon killing scheme. Uh, horrible, just horrible investment. Just a disgrace to the financial world. What is this man even doing, you know? He should honestly change his name to Lee Chagrin because this is very embarrassing. Now keep in mind though, a bad situation does not always equate to a bad investment. You see, if a situation looks like it's not ideal, don't give up on it. Instead, use your skills to turn the situation into a good one. I want to hit these guys, but there are too many minions in the way, right? So what I do is I pull the situation to a place where I'm more comfortable. Now the situation is more desirable and the money is mine. Therefore, it is a good investment. Another great example of a good investment is this uh, little situation right here. It's uh, pretty simple. There's a guy with low health over there and so if I just time it correctly and I aim at the base, then I can hit him as soon as he gets there and it's going to be the best investment of all time. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be the best investment of all. It's the worst. It's the worst investment. It sucks. It's bullshit. Now this is a good investment. Fighting the Twitch. This is good. Oh shit. Oh, it's bad. It's a bad investment. Oh, I am so sorry. It's a terrible investment. It's probably the worst investment conceived in all history. It's the it's the best. It's the best investment of all time. It's best investment, if you know what I'm saying. After a series of great investments, I have obtained an incredible amount of money. Now I can truly live out the rest of my life as a real money lord. As a man who's gained quite a bit of money in his League of Legends life, let me tell you that life completely changes when you get where I am. You start viewing things differently, you know? You start making changes to your life. Now naturally, one would think that one of those changes is that after obtaining this much money, you can just stop trying to make it because you have enough, right? WRONG! What are you, stupid? You think you can stop? You never stop! You can never have too much money, because once you get the money, you just want more money! You have to keep getting the money for the rest of your life! You fool! You think you can afford to stop and enjoy it? No! You must keep making money! I, I need more. I need more money. The hunger, it gnaws. I need more money! See this guy, does he need my help? Probably not. Do I care? No! More money for me! <laughs> <laughs> Fools! You think you can stop me? I am the money lord! I have ascended to a level of wealth that cannot be comprehended by a mere mortal! For I have the money, and I reign supreme in this realm! <laughs> you think my hunger can be sated? Idiot! Cower before your king! Cower before the immortal money lord! I am power incarnate! I am the money lord! I cannot be contained! Fuck! Alright, fuck money! From now on, we only use my new form of currency, 
main coin. And hey, you guys better buy some of this because it's doing pretty great to be honest. Personally, I invested my life savings into it so I'm feeling pretty optimistic. You see guys, the thing about main coin is that it's better than money because not only is it completely untraceable, but also its price relies solely on how well I perform in game. You see, look, I kill the guy, up goes the main coin. I kill another guy, up goes the main coin. I miss the guy, down goes the main coin, but then I kill the guy and up goes the main coin. And now to finally cement main coin as the best form of currency in the world, I shall perform my finest technique, the dark main money slam. Just watch, Riven's gonna go back and I'm gonna hit her in the base as soon as she finishes recalling. You see, it's gonna be funny because it's not gonna work, right? So once I miss, I'm gonna make a joke like, oh no, now main coin's worth no money at all. Oh, what a horrible, what? Holy shit! <laughs>